Alright, what is going on guys? Today's video is gonna be about Caesar. Caesar? Yeah. And what kind of car do you drive? Well, I have a 1992 Nissan 300ZX. Now it has a LS3 with a turbo, single turbo. How did this car start off? Um, it started off as a twin turbo model. I had it for like 10 years and I had another white one as well and I just wanted something different but I love the, the Z32 so okay. I mean different with just putting a different engine in. So you want to pop it for us real quick? So, kind of uh, let me know like a li little bit more about this. Is that, I don't know anything about LS. <laughs> okay, so this is a um, 6.2 liter all aluminum, and it started off as like a Denali truck engine. So it was like a junkyard engine, if you quote unquote say. But the truck engines are different from like uh, the Corvette engines, just on the manifolds. And also like uh, for the trucks, they have like a cylinder deactivation, so they go from eight to four. And so all you have to do is remove all that stuff and then you have a LS3 or whatever you whatever you want to call it. Makes sense, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um but you didn't get the you didn't get the motor from a junkyard, right? No, I bought it from somebody else, but honestly that motor like it didn't have any compression on the cylinder heads. So I decided to just refresh and everything up. And um so that's what I did. Uh, everything that I went back on the car is just uh, OEM plus, I guess you can say. So I put like ARP fasteners stronger head gaskets, uh, high flow like oil pumps, Lunati valve springs, comp camp rocker arms. So it's kind of a build, but it's not too crazy. Okay. And then what do you what do you got right here? Uh, I got a on 3 <laughs> 78, 75 uh, single turbo. Um, that I just barely put on like, this year. And I'm finally enjoying it. <laughs> kind of did like all the fab work and stuff oh, i did it all <laughs> wow okay damn so backyard build yeah oh. and then how long did it take again um my first swap took a year but during that year it, um i rebuilt the engine i did a little bit of body work so i smoothed out the engine bay as, as much as i could um so I, like i said in between waiting for parts i was trying to do body work and um, so it took a year just for naturally aspirated, but then to do the turbo, it took me like about like five months. Five months. Yeah. Has it got dynoed? It hasn't gotten dynoed because um, one, I'm, I want a T56 transmission. I'm running the, the Nissan transmission actually on this. Okay. And um, I just don't want to push anything more than five, 600 on it. So once I get the T56, then I'll like crank up the boost and it makes like some good power. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be yeah. sick, man. Exactly like my 300ZX. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're
Let's do a little bit on the outside. The front bumper is a mission, a mission front bumper that I was lucky to pick up locally. Um, that's something that I always wanted for like the past 10 years and it finally came, came together, you know? Yeah, it looks great, man. And then, what kind of fenders are these? Yeah, you know what? I can't find the, the translation on Bayi because I buy myself from Bayi, like uh, Yahoo Auctions and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, mirrors are um, half rough mirrors. Um, they're powered. Um, but the thing is that I can't see anything. <laughs> so I have normal vision because the, the angle is for a right hand drive. Oh. So the angles are, are, are weird. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So any like Japanese <laughs> mirrors, like, you're not going to see anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Size curves is just some that I found on eBay. I think they're called like, uh, well, from Duraflex, but they're Duraflex bombers, I think. That's the style. Okay. Yeah, uh, just style. something that I found and it just put together. Bigger. Horrible fit, so I might have to change it. Okay. Yeah. And then what do you got uh, for the rear? The rear for is kit. a twin Z, uh, 60 millimeter, I think, wider. So, twin Z designs from Peru. They're um, bulk Z40. They're 10 and a half in the rear and 9 and a half in the front. And then, what kind of wing and diffuser do you got? Uh, the wing is a twin Z, I think it's a type 3. And the uh, bumper is also a twin Z. Yeah, so and the rear is all full turn. Very nice. Yeah. And then you got the chase bag tails. Yes. Chase nice. Tail. Oh, and then also what kind of um what kind of hood is this? This is from Extreme Dimension. I can't find much information about it. Um I picked it up ten years ago and I don't think they make it anymore. I, I wanted to get another one because I got a couple of like small crap. Like I, I never really see it on anybody else's car. No yeah. So, no. Very unique, man. Yeah. What kind of color is this? Um, this is a 3M Atomic Teal. Atomic Teal. Fairly stock. Uh, I did have some seats, but I'm still waiting on some seat racking. I got some bell side seats, some reclinable ones. Here, here, I got some carbon fiber uh, panels in there. I got a ready shift knob. Um, I got my Terminator X, like the digital dash right there. Okay. Pretty much stock, to be honest. <laughs> Clean though, very clean. And then, I know we were talking a little off camera, but you wanna uh, let the people know about what you got in here? Uh, there's just uh, model kits that you can build, but um, I kinda collect these because my girlfriend started um, introducing me to die cast and, and models and stuff like that. This one, I like, imported it from like England. And I think they came out in Japan, but England was the one that was shipping to me. And these you can find at like any local hobby shop. You can have it if you want. <laughs> no way. Yeah, you can have it. I have another next one. No way, man. Dude, thank you so much, yeah. brother. I really appreciate it. Anytime. Mm. So I have a single, this is a single turbo. I have one single exit coming out and then I just made a Y. Uh, this was for a 300ZX. This is the Magnaflow exhaust they, they sell. Okay. And I just uh, make it into a Y so that way you could just join it to the, to the single. Very nice. Yeah. So it's a Y pipe. Hey, what kind of gauge is that? Uh, that's an old Dylan gauge. Oh, that wow. came with the car like when I bought it 10 years ago. So it's like <laughs> some. You know, uh, old goodies, you know. Brakes, I got a full uh, Acubono 370Z Mismo uh, brake system. So it's pretty much whatever came on a 370Z Mismos. And I think they're four, four pot in the front and then just uh, two in the rear. But I mean, the, the ring rotor is like 14 inches compared to like the Nissan is just like 10 and a half or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, so pretty a lot big, better. Yeah. And honestly, they're probably the best like bang for your bucks you can get. I, I think I built this for like 700 bucks. And honestly, like, I think if you have a 300 ZX, that should be like the first upgrade you should do. And that'll be the best upgrade you probably get. Would you. Where'd you get these? What are these called? Uh, the struts? The struts, yeah. Yeah, these are from, I think, they're Wind Factory. Wind Factory, okay. Yeah. And then. 
Is this, uh, did you make this yourself? Um, no, I think these were like power tricks ones. Oh, power trick. Yeah, but this one used to have come with the, you know, in the, on the 300ZX you have the, your radiator here. Yeah. Well, I just chopped it off so I could just modify it so I can fit my, my system. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> oh, and I powder coated it just so I can match to the, the theme of, you know, that black metallic. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Some coil overs you got? Uh, power tricks. Uh, Super Street, I think that's what they call it. The other aftermarket arms? Yeah, I have my... GK Tech upper control arm. So the front and the rear. Um, I have the GK Tech uh, traction. I think they call it traction bar on the rear. And in the front, I got the uh, tie rods from Power Tricks. And I think that's pretty much it for, for the suspension. Uh, if you guys want to give him a follow, here's his Instagram. All right, what is going on, guys? So this is gonna be the outro to Caesar's video. Um, right now I'm actually washing my wheels that I got like a few months ago to sell tomorrow to buy some other wheels. I got these like a few months ago. They work two piece ones. They're 17s plus 35 and then the fronts are nine plus 35. I still got the Z. I still got a lot of plans for this thing. I've just been stacking up parts, being patient. But yeah, you guys will see that in like later videos if you guys did enjoy please leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys think about caesar's car i personally love it uh, be sure to follow him too he's always doing some something new subscribe for more because we got a lot a lot more coming this year uh, it's been a couple years since i made the last video so appreciate anybody who stopped by um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace